often wonder do you really need a college degree to become a software engineer or developers who have a technical degree related to their field better at coding and their jobs the short answer yes and no for the long answer keep watching first of all all this college is trash and you don't need a single paper to define your future is really subjective it really depends on who you are and what your current circumstances are here in this video i'll be strictly talking about whether or not a degree is beneficial for if you'd like to go into the software engineering field or the computer science field because this is a profession that a lot of people do find success in without degrees and it isn't obvious whether you should be going to school for it or not unlike a doctor or a lawyer you have to go to medical school you have to have a license and you have to go to law school and pass the bar to become an attorney also this is the only topic i am somewhat eligible to speak about being in my third year of the degree so as a person on their way to get the degree you'll also know if it's worth it or not here are a couple of factors that go into learning to code and then making a livelihood out of it you could either get a job or become a freelancer or a con contractor or even construct a completely new business out of it i'll be detailing all the various circumstances you could find yourself in on a case by case basis and give some specific advice on it and my opinions on it obviously disclaimer this is in no way binding this is just a random stranger's opinion on the internet feel free to take it with a grain of salt if i tell you that you won't be able to do something that means nothing well first of all i would never tell someone that something isn't possible almost everything is with enough perseverance and hard work case one you're a high school student who's currently confused whether they should apply for a 3 year bachelor's degree in technology or a 4 year degree in engineering first you have to decide for yourself if you like a liberal education or a more technical education in the case of all computer science courses all your classes will have math programming which includes basic language syntaxes data structures popular algorithms and then different theory based subjects like operating systems computer networking database management organization architecture and so on in a liberal arts education you might not have all of these some of the more detailed theory about computer hardware really niche topics and intermediate mathematics may be absent from your coursework but instead of that you can take a lot of other classes from the humanities department like psychology marketing business economics or completely different fields as well without limiting yourself to just one department that makes you so much more well rounded as a person who's going into the field to have a long term career a spoiler alert though all engineering colleges in india are mostly on the technical side there is little to no freedom about choosing your own classes same for my case as well if you like a liberal arts education applying abroad would be a better choice or not going through the engineering route and applying to some of the more liberal arts universities in india itself one of the drawbacks of attending college is that the curriculum is nowhere near what's trendy in the market the javascript framework react is so popular you can use it to build so many additional functionalities into your website but colleges don't even go near that blockchain technology is a hot topic right now most of the recently funded startups have decentralization at its core they are hiring really aggressively optimizing for growth and paying hefty amounts to bring good talent on board but you'd be hard pressed to find out a college that has courses offering in blockchain let alone an entire branch that specializes in it so to make things easier i'll be making a pros and cons list of attending college so it makes things a lot easier for you to decide pros Since it's in your curriculum and you're paying to take all the classes, you're bound to take it a lot more seriously. The most common problem with everyone is consistency and discipline. If you're not consistently learning about coding or trying to develop new software, it is going to be really hard to see real progress. A self-taught programmer needs to have a lot of discipline to follow through with their schedule and stick to their plans. But Since you'll be in college that is all what you will be doing and sometimes it's not even just coding at all in fact 
Most of my courses don't even need me to be near a computer. Cons. You will still have to learn the material by yourself. Even if you pay for the degree, a college class is only going to teach you so much. Most professors will be just reading off of slides. If you're very lucky, they may even write the code on the blackboard and dry run it and explain it. But all the practice is up to you. In addition to that, you have to constantly practice algorithms and all the applications based on that. Pro. Attending college is going to make you a serious candidate in the eyes of recruiters. If you're applying to really big companies, Fortune 500 companies, or just fan, you'll have to bypass a lot of stages of interviews. But the hardest thing is to get even on their radar. A degree could help recruiters reach out to you for job opportunities. Con: The curriculum in most colleges is somewhat outdated. Technology changes, tech stacks change. And up to the new person entering the field whether they would like to compete in this rat race and keep learning new technologies one after the other one thing about going to college that beats every other aspect is network if by any fortune you're able to attend a really prestigious universities you'll be rubbing shoulders with the most famous people in the future you have the entire world in your reach because of the alumni and the brand name think about it future ceos billionaires politicians people coming from affluent families with a lot of connections all of these is really hard to get if you're a self taught programmer and did not go to college at all if you're coming from a college that has no brand name whatsoever no reputation no amazing network to boast about no ceos of top companies no hundreds and thousands of alumni working in fortune 500 companies no one that you can ask for a referral from or someone who can guide you in your future then it's probably going to be a waste of time since you've been here for so long here is an additional pointer that i would like to mention most people who pursue an additional degree do it because they'd like to change their fields often in the form of a masters in technology or masters in engineering from some other bachelor field if you're a working professional who wants to switch here are some factors that you should be considering why do you want to switch is it because that the field that you want to switch to pays you a lot more than your current field or do you want to move abroad and you think the best way to do that would be to get yourself enrolled in a university of that country which is going to open several doors for you or at least get your foot in the door because yes if you'd like to switch careers getting a masters is a very good idea but so is this alternative option what you can do is Learn programming on your own. There are multiple ways to do that. Watch free videos on YouTube. Take a lot of courses, which are also free. It is such a high quality resource that you will never need anything else. Or you can go for cheaper paid courses as well, which will have an added advantage of giving you a structured route of learning. There are also some good life cohort based courses. I would not recommend that you go for super expensive courses because 99% of the times the return on money invested is not great. If you have enough determination. nation you'll be able to accomplish the task on your own then you can directly apply for a job guaranteed it will be difficult to get one at a top company but don't get disheartened you can apply to a lot of startups if you're good they'll hire you most of them don't even care about your educational background with that experience under your belt you would be now able to apply to jobs with a higher compensation as you wanted earlier this gives you the hassle of applying to multiple colleges with no experience and plus you're getting paid this would be a little more difficult though if you're trying to get a job abroad you have to keep applying to companies which are ready to sponsor your visa and are willing to hire you over the candidates in their own country in my opinion both the routes trying this or applying to a college have the same time commitment and effort on one hand you'll have to prepare your application for grad school that includes standardized testing essays statement of purposes letter of recommendation all of these are very time consuming you could devote all this time towards learning the new skill and getting a job directly in that case you'll be spending 2 years in a classroom Here you'll be spending that period in an actual company working hands on learning what needs to be actually done and have something that is highly valuable job experience that was all i had to say on this subject 
Personally, I don't feel like you need college that much. It's just an environment where you gel with all sorts of people and make memories. You'll be much better off starting on your own as a teen and then developing yourself into a viable candidate for a job before you even reach college. That's not the dream scenario for everyone. But for normal people like me, the options are still limitless. Pick one and have fun with it. That is it for today. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. As always, like, share, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.